Hey guys, today I'm going to give you the step-by-step -step on how to play the board game Deep Dark Wood Game, ages 3 and up. Uh, the Gruffalo, Julia Donaldson, and Axel Scheffler. So this is based off of a, like, a movie. They made a two-part movie. And I have a stuffed animal and movie, but I'll show you that another time. Today we're going to focus on the board game. This board game is made by Ravensburger. Uh, 2014 J. Donaldson and A. Shuffler. Let's look at the back. Deep Dark Wood Game. Can you help Mouse through the deep dark wood, avoiding the hungry fox, owl, and snake? All you need is a little luck of the dice and a good memory. If you find the image of the gruffalo under the trees, you will scare the hungry animals away. A fun and simple game for two to four players ages three and up. Uh, content. One game board, four mouse figurines with stands, five plastic trees, five round discs, one hazelnut piece, and one dice. And then there's all the information you'll ever need on the game on the bottom. Now I'll open up the contents in the side of the box. I'll show you what it comes with and what it looks like. As said on the box, it comes with five tree pieces, four mice for the players, one dice, one instruction pamphlet, then two game board pieces. Now I'll show you the step by step on the game and like uh, how to play the game. First, let me put the boards together. Hmm. This is what the board looks like when it's completely together. It goes from 1 to 26, all the way to the finish. Then there's four uh, lucky on, there's four spots on the board that are either lucky or unlucky. The fox, the butterfly, the owl, the river, the snake, and the gruffalo. Now let's look at how to avoid these creatures. But first, uh, let's put all the tree pieces together. Now each tree piece has a different piece on the bottom, and depending on the piece, uh, it'll either let you pass the uh, good or the bad pieces or stay on them. So let's pretend we're playing the game. And we'll go step by step. I am the yellow mouse. And here's my dice. And here is the hazelnut piece that we win at the end. So first, let's roll. Three. We'll go to three pieces. Three spots. Okay. Now, let's pretend there's a second player. Rolling again. Two. Okay, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one. So the green mouse landed on the fox. Uh, according to these, this pamphlet, I will have to choose a piece to get out of that a tricky situation or tricky spot. Okay. Let's see here. I got the scared animals. So let's see what happens if I get those guys. If you land on the fox, owl, or snake space, you'll need the gruffalo to scare off the gray animals. Can you find the gruffalo under one of the trees? Choose a tree. Turn it over and look at the picture. So I did not get one of those. Too bad. You weren't able to find the Gruffalo. Hurry. Roll the die again. But this time move your mouse backwards on the game board. The same numbers of spaces as indicated in the die. So. Okay. Rolling again. 
Uh, one, two. Now, since I already picked one, I'm going to reshuffle these. Hopefully, I will get something better this time. Two. One, two. Let's see what happens when I land on the butterfly. Special fields. Well done. You can move on one space. Okay, let's roll for the green mouse. Two. Two. Dang it. Okay, let's see. Oof. Nope. Let's see what I get if I get one of the objects. The Gruffalo's terrible claws, orange eyes, or terrible teeth alone are not enough to frighten the hungry animals. Your mouse stays where he is and can only continue his journey on his next turn. Okay, let's try this again. Reshuffle. Oh, and by the way, the dice only goes from one to three. So one, two, three. There is no fourth dot on the dice. One. Okay. Three. One, two, three. I'll read the whole directions at the end of the video. One. Landed on the owl. Okay, let's see what we get. Uh, I got the hungry animals. Dang it. Two. One, two. Rolling again. Oops. I knocked down the mouse. Hopefully... Can get one of the bosses can get through this game. Okay, let's roll for the green mouse now. Ah, three. One, two, three. Okay, let's roll for the yellow mouse. One. Okay, got on the same spot. Let's go. Three. Ooh. One. Two, three. The green mouse has passed the owl. Three. One, two, three. One. One. Two. One, two. Oh, shoot. I. The yellow mouse has landed in the river. Let's see what the special field is all about. You have reached the riverbank, but unfortunately you cannot cross it. Therefore, you miss a turn. Oh, that stinks. Okay, let's go. Three for Green Mouse. One, two, three. I landed on the snake. Uh, let's see here. Uh, oh. Dang it, I got one of the objects. Let's see what it says. The Gruffalo's terrible claws, orange eyes, and terrible teeth alone are not enough to frighten the hungry animals. Your mouse stares where he is and can only continue his journey on his next turn. Okay. Let's roll again. Uh, not, without looking at the pieces, let's put them back on their corresponding spots. Now let's roll. Oh yeah, the, the yellow mouse skipped a turn. Let's roll for the green mouse again. Two. One, two. Two. One. Oh, the mouse landed on the snake. Let's hopefully get one. A good one. Dang it, I got the same one. Okay, he doesn't move anywhere. Let's go green mouse. One. Yellow mouse. Three. One, two, three. Same spot. Two. Green mouse. One, two. We have passed the Gruffalo. The green mouse has passed the Gruffalo. What the? One. Okay. One. Oh, 
wrong mouse. The green mouse. Three. One, two, three. Getting close here. Two. Green mouse. One, two. Three. One, two, three. The green mouse has finished the map, and now he gets the hazelnut piece. So the winner would get the hazelnut piece, and well, depending if you want to keep doing the game, the green mouse would get second place. Now, let me read the directions for you guys. And then that is it for this board game. So, again, there, according to the story, the TV show and the book, there are three uh, animals who try to prevent the mouse from getting into the hazelnut piece. And these spots, those are from the movie, too. But they, they're kind of more like fun objects, I guess. And then there's a Gruffalo, the big guy. Again, this is what the board looks like together. Now let me take off both pieces of the board and read the directions to you. Ruffalo, Deep Dark Wood Game. Ravensburger Game Number 22780. Exciting race for two to four children ages four years and up. Design Paul Wendell Design UK. Content, one game board, five plastic trees, five discs, four mouse figurines with stand, one diode, and one hazelnut piece. Can you help mouse through the deep dark wood, avoiding the hungry fox, owl, and snake? All you need is a little luck of the dice and good memory. If you find the image, the gruffalo under the trees will scare the hungry animals away. The aim of the game is to be the first player to reach the end of, with your mouse. Game setup. When playing... For the first time, carefully remove all cardboard pieces from the perforated cards. Press the five discs on the trees with the picture side facing out. See illustration. Once the discs have been pressed into the trees, they can no longer be removed. For each game, uh, join both pieces of the game board, shuffle the trees throughingly, and randomly place them on the five brown circular spaces in the middle of the game board. Without looking at the picture on the bottom. Then each player chooses a mouse, inserts it into his stands, and places it out on the starting position. Have the die and the hazelnut piece ready. Warning, choking hazard is small parts not for chosen under three. Ravensburger. So even though it says the age rating right here, I would suggest you have a parent to keep watch over, you know, the young ones part of the game. Here's the second page of the pamphlet. Uh, how to play. The youngest player begins with play continuing in a clockwise direction. On your turn, roll the die and move your mouse accordingly on the game board. More than one mouse can occupy the same space at the same time. If you land on the fox, owl, or snake space, you'll need the gruffalo to scare off the hungry animals. Can you find the gruffalo under one of the trees? Choose a tree, turn it over, and look at the picture. So here's what would happen if you landed on the Gruffalo piece. Great, you found the Gruffalo, and the hungry animals flee. Fleas. You may roll the die again and move your mouse further. Here, what would happen if you landed on the Gruffalo's objects? Such as this one. This one. And this one right here. The Gruffalo's terrible claws, orange eyes, or terrible teeth alone are not enough to frighten the hungry animals. Your mouse stays where he is and can only continue his journey on his next turn. So here's what happens if you land on the hungry animals. And the piece would look like this. Uh, too bad, you weren't able to find the Gruffalo. Hurry, roll the die again. But this time, move your mouse backwards over the game board. The same... Number of spaces as indicated on the die. If you land on the Gruffalo space, you'll need the frightened animals to show the Gruffalo just how scary you are. Can you find the correct trees in the middle of the game board? Choose a tree, turn it over, and look at the picture. So here's what would ha happen if you look landed on the animals space. Great, the Gruffalo thinks the animals are afraid of you. You may roll the die again and move your mouse further ahead. 
Here's what would happen if you landed on either four of these spaces. So, either the Gruffalo is now is terrible eyes, his terrible claws, or his terrible nose, or whatever that is. Too bad, you weren't able to find the frightened animals. Hurry, roll the die again, but this time move your mouse backwards on the game board accordingly. Third page of the pamphlet. Important. After looking under a tree and completing the action, switch the position of any two trees. Or you can just shuffle it like I did, or roll it. Special fields. So this is what would happen if you landed on this piece right here. Well done. You can move on one space. Here's what would happen if you landed in the river piece, which is right on the side. River piece right here. You have reached the river bank, but unfortunately you cannot cross it. Therefore, you miss a turn. The game is over as soon as the first player reaches the end of, with his mouse. They win the game and the mouse receives a hidden piece as its prize. Cute little picture. Version for younger children from three years, from age three years. The version of for younger children is played in the same way as a version for four-year-old children, but with the following minor changes. If you land on the fox owl or snake's field, you'll need to find the image of the gruffalo, or at least parts of him under the trees. Choose a tree, turn it over, and look at the picture. Here's the back, and then the last and final page of the pamphlet. Here's what would happen if you landed on this, I uh, think, yeah, any of these pieces right here. Great! Roll the die again and move your mouse for the same number of spaces as indicated on the die. Here's what would happen if you landed on the hungry animals piece that looks like this. Your mouse stays where he is and continues the journey on his next turn. If you land on the Gruffalo space, you'll need to find the image of the scared animals under the trees. Choose a tree, turn it over, and look at the picture. So here's what would happen if you landed on the animal piece again. Great, roll the die again and move your mouse further. Here's what would happen if you landed on either four of the pieces. Either four of the other pieces. Right here. Your mouse stays where he is and it's and he, where he is and continues his journey on his next turn. After looking under a tree and completing the action, place the trees back on its position. There's a cute little mouse eating his hazelnut. And I'll do the credits. 2014, www.gruffalo.com. Uh, 2014 and trademark Julia Donaldson slash Axel Shuffler. Licensed by Magic Light Pictures LTD. Important in the UK by the Ravensburger LTD. United One Avon Berry Business Park. House Lane by Chester. By Sester Chester o OX26 2 UBGB Ravensburger North America Inc. One Puzzle Lane Newton NH0358 Unit Say Ravensburger Verlag GMBH Plus FAC 24 D88194 Ravensburger com. So that is how the game is played and the core mechanics. Now I'll show you how to put the game pieces back in the box accordingly. If I can find... Yeah, here we go. So, first, I would suggest putting on the two game board... No. Put the game board pieces in last. And I would suggest putting the four mouse in there first. Probably... Yeah, like that. And then the mouse... And then, the four trees, or five trees, and then, of course, the heels of that. And then, I would suggest putting in the game board pieces. Make sure all the trees are sticking down. And then, put in the directions, and then the lid to the game. Game. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. Thank you.